for each painting, I look at it for quite a bit and try and figure out my approach. Because right now what we're doing is we're painting all a prima, which basically means all at once. So I need to be very cognizant of how I'm going to lay my paints down. I don't want to necessarily lay down black right away because then it's going to start pulling in all those black colors into our other colors and that's going to lose the vibrancy that we're wanting to capture in this painting. Um, so I have to be cognizant of that. Then also with this, because they are complementary colors, the complementary colors, when they're mixed together, actually tone each other up. They actually tone each other down. And so what that means is if I were to mix um, by accident, uh, the purple and the orange together, it's going to make it towards the grays. And a lot of artists, they struggle with, um, you know, creating mud. And that's what they call it is, you know, I've got mud, and, you know, why does this happen? And it's because you mix complementary colors. Um, so, it, which is great for nature because those colors happen a lot in nature. And you'll see me do that where I'll actually purposely tone colors down by grabbing the color on the opposite side of the color wheel. So this color wheel, folks, if you don't have one, get one. It will become your friend. Um, this is one that I've had for over 20 years, and it is always on my table, okay? <laughs> so it's always a reference, because if I ever get stuck and try and figure out what is it missing, go back to the basics of your color wheel.